G'day, welcome to Matt's Workshop. Uh, today I'm going to do a video uh, using Lightburn and I'm going to design uh, my own uh, circular box. I'm going to make it about 120 millimeters in diameter and I'm going to design that um, and show you just quickly how easy it is to do something like this in Lightburn and then cut it out on my um, laser cutter. So the laser cutter I'm using uh, is a red and black 80 watt and um, I'm going to be using uh, three millimeter plyboard. Okay, starting with the circle of the size of the base that you want, uh, create that. I made mine 120 millimeters. Now add a tab that is going to be cut out and make a center dot and then group those together using the circular array. Uh, extend them out until you've got enough tabs as you require. That's the uh, first part of making that. Now you select the whole lot. And what we're going to do is weld all those together so that uh, we end up with the tabs looking more like a gear, like so. And you can copy and paste this piece later on with the top piece. Now using your circular uh, geometry, you work out what the uh, circumference will be and make a rectangle for the side piece. I moved these down so that I could uh, measure up the tabs to fit them in, put them top and bottom, and then uh, after I did that, I removed the groups and then um, grouped those together. Now using the repeat array, I uh, repeated those along the side of the, um, the side piece until there was enough pieces. Now to make it so that the side piece will bend around the circle using your uh, repeat um, image tool, just repeat it along at the whole length of the side piece and then remove any excess ones that you don't need. Um, and now just convert them all to cut. What I'm also going to do is uh, import a uh, vector file which I'm going to use to burn into the top or engrave into the top. I'm actually not going to carve it out, I'm just going to burn it in at a higher speed. So using this uh, Rose's uh, picture that I downloaded a bit earlier, I uh, just centre it and uh, fix it up onto the top of the unit. This will be set to burn at a different speed to all the other cuts. And then I'm going to convert these to a, uh, the red section, which is a uh, faster cut. So the settings on my 80 watt laser for uh, these uh, different cuts. Uh, using the red, I've got it set at um, it's 75% minimum power and 85% maximum power. And I'm going to set the speed at 75 millimeters per second. Now, uh, for the blue cuts, which is everything else, um, I'm going to remove that black one and convert it to blue. I'm going to set that at um, 14 millimeters per second, and that'll be running at a max power of 85%. And I just usually run my minimum power 5 to 10% lower, so I've got it set at 80. And now it's just a matter of saving it and sending it to the, uh, the uh, basic cutter. Just do some final adjustments to minimise wastage, and off we go. Okay, to position the uh, timber into the laser cutter, make sure that the wood grain runs in the same direction as the cuts in the side piece. So the uh, vertical cuts in the side piece should be along the grain. If it's the other way, when you bend the timber later on, it will snap.
So thanks for visiting Matt's workshop. It's been a great little project making this uh, from scratch, just designing the plan using Lightburn. Um, there's a lot of uh, geometry that I had to work out. Geometry is not my uh, greatest strength, but I, I worked through it, which um, I'm pretty happy with. Uh, the design I'm very happy with as well, and I uh, gave it a sand obviously before we finished. A little tip, um, if you want to sand it before you assemble it, just leave it in the, um, in, th in the main board before you pop it out. Give it a sand and that way um, you're not as uh, likely to, um, to damage it. So just either use um, just some uh, sandpaper with your hand. You can use a machine sander like I did. Um, but um, yeah, just be careful if you are using a machine sander because uh, if it is going too fast, it can flick out and it will snap. So just um, be aware of that. Uh, if you um, if it's the first time you've visited uh, Matt's workshop, uh, make sure you uh, subscribe to get notifications, put the bell on and you'll be notified when I up, uh, upload new videos. And if you like the video, press like and share it with your friends. Until next time, take care. Cheers. Just a quick note, currently Lightburn software does not talk directly with the controller in my laser machine. I'm using a Top Wisdom controller. Um, the controller board is a TL410C um, and this will be replaced hopefully in the near future with a Ruida controller which will talk directly uh, with Lightburn. In the meantime what I need to do is export out of Lightburn and then import it into a program that only this uh, controller uses which is called Auto Laser. A little bit of a pain but uh, that's the workaround I have to do at the moment in order to use Lightburn.